is, is my fish tank. I got a lot of um, Congo fishes, guppies, uh, platies, and tetras, and neon tetras, cardinal tetras, and uh, yeah, it's a, it's a whole vibe. I, uh, yeah, they're, it's just beautiful. And I'm shooting this right now in uh, 4K HDR, or not just HDR, 4K Dolby Atmos. Um, 60 FPS, you know, uh, on the iPhone, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's crazy. Quality is just nuts. Love it. Um, light on this side is much better because of the tube light, and the other side has more of a blue light, which is great for uh, plant growth. Got a lot of algaes brewing there. I do not have any um, algae eaters or plecos anymore because I uh, decided they make more mess than they clean. So I decided to not have them anymore. Um, for some reason, I started getting worms uh, infestating my uh, 75 gallon tank. This is 75 gallons. But I realized I was like, in the beginning, I was like, oh shit, that's not a good thing. And I've realized that it's actually a great thing because it serves as a food for them. I and mean, these worms multiply so rapidly. So, but it's 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 perfect because they eat worms anyways. They, their, their food consists of worm diet. So it actually provides us uh, nutrients for them. They yeah, look at these schools of uh, tetras. I got a bunch of tetras. These um, these um, tetras ended up becoming uh, huge. Uh, I got some um, neons as well. Uh, they're always hiding. It's really hard for you to catch them all at once. Uh, the neons are always hiding. Um, but these congos are... I got them when they were... Uh, you see the size of the... Um, um, the neons? Uh, and the neon in the back? Yes. I had the Congos at the exact same size, but these Congos went crazy huge, like, you know what I'm saying? They, they went huge. So, um, but anyways, it's a, it's a beautiful, happy school of family. You know what I'm saying? I take care of them, bring them every week. Uh, Bi-weekly if I'm feeling lazy or I got some shit to do, but uh, nevertheless, I, uh, yeah. I love these guys, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, I just wake up in the morning, I sit here, drink my coffee while I look at these fishes. And, uh, I'll pull out a chair actually, yeah. It's exactly what I do, I pull out a chair, brew some coffee, wake up in the morning, and I start uh, observing these uh, animal planets. And uh, <laughs> while I'm narrating this, I feel like David Attenborough. You see these wild animals in their habitats. As you can see, the male guppy is all about chasing that booty <laughs> with a little ghetto flavor to it, you know what I'm saying? Um, as you can see, the main source of pleasure for them is number one, food, and number two, booty. That's all they do. Oh, I love this guys, bro. A lot of bubbles, you know, give them plenty of oxygen, heaters, uh, algae growth, plant, natural plants, you know. So yeah, it's my entire tank. Hope you enjoyed watching this. I love these guys. Uh, this one's prego as hell, dog. You know the guppies are going overtime on the <laughs> the uh, the uh, the booty, yeah. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Animal Planet for sure. Blue Planet three featuring mesh. <laughs> All right, okay, bye.